Hi, and welcome to another one of my vintage i5 videos. Just a very quick one here today. Just want to give uh, this Delta 90.2 uh, Wolfdale speaker a quick review, comparing it against its younger brother, the Delta 70, even though it's a point two, it's just a slight, very slight difference uh, than the 90 I would have thought. Um, yeah, um, just a quick review really, just to, uh, just because I bought this cheap, again, another 50 pound speaker, didn't spend a fortune, thinking if it's better than this one, I'll get rid of this and keep that one, just you know, maybe a slight upgrade, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still looking out for better speakers, more expensive speakers. Uh, still looking for barkers, obviously, but moving me way up the ladder from right at the bottom, I'm probably where I'm at the moment, and creeping up, and obviously some everyone's got their position, some people are going to stay at the bottom, happy with what they got. I still stand by that something like this, a £50 speaker, a £70 or £80 pound amplifier, and a £50 pound turntable, thereabouts. Uh, what's that, 180, 170 pounds, I you're going to get a much better system. And if you go on eBay and buy one of these stacks, uh, four or 500 pounds, this is going to sound a lot better than them. Uh, obviously, if you pay a thousand pounds of that, yeah, it's still debatable, I suppose. Um, yeah, depending what you're looking out for as well. These have got more of a, you know, more of a dynamic sound, I would have said, than maybe more of a flat response to these newer units. But anyway, just a quick review. Uh, what do I think this against this, just in case you see one of these? They don't come up on eBay that often. Uh, not, I don't think they're much of a well-known Wolfdale um, brand, um, or a series, should I say, of, uh, of speaker. Um, not so well-known as some of their other ones. Uh, kind of like, I wouldn't say they flew under the radar by any stretch of the motion, because they're not, not, not fan, brilliant speakers. Uh, but they're speakers that kind of come and went, I think. Uh, but yeah, and that being the case, you're going to pick them up fairly cheap. Uh, and they're not got a bad sound, I don't think, you know what I say, they're not top draw by any stretch of the imagination, but they're not bad. Um, yeah, so I compared it with these, uh, I just want to quickly give, I don't want to keep too long on this video, just what I thought of it. Um, I've kept these two amps here, mainly this bottom one for a reason, uh, from that previous video. It's just that with this amp here, not there's a massive difference between the speakers anyway, but with this amp here, there's pretty much none. Um, they pretty much sounded pretty, you know, a blind test, you'd be, you'd be able to say, I mean, which one's what? you'd be able to say which one's what. The only difference that really stuck out was the bass on this speaker. It's got more of a thump. It's more deeper, but a woolly kind of bass still. Uh, as I think I said in the review of this speaker, it's got a woolly kind of sound bass. Um, it's not that, you know, it's just it's just a thud kind of thing. It's deeper, it's more of a thuddy, deeper um, bass uh, than this one. This one's uh, a little bit higher, it's a bit more clearer. Uh, and that's all the difference really on that amplifier there. The, the, the mid range was slightly forward than this, only slightly. Uh, with the vocals and so to speak. But other than that, the treble and that, everything else was pretty much the same. Like I say, in a blind test, you'd be really pressed to say which one was actually playing. Things changed a little bit uh, with the other amplifiers. I really receivers and amplifiers, I probably went through about five or six. Uh, all low range, all, low, all low 10, 15 watt amplifiers, no, no, nothing like this, no, no high power ones or anything like that. I usually listen to them on about number three or four when I'm down here, when I'm doing the test three or four, I never really go above that. Uh, and when I'm in my bedroom or computer or whatever, I'm usually on number two, one and a half, so that's kind of my listening level. Um, so yeah, I can't really vouch for these on number eight or nine or anything like that, or more powerful system maybe. I'm just going by these, you know, kind of system they could probably match, lower end system. Uh, yeah, with the other amplifiers, there's a bit of a difference. Um, the bass was pretty much the same again, still like uh, low on this one, like more of a thumpy bass. This one was more detailed, the bass, it wasn't over detailed by any stretch of the most, but it was, it was a, a better kind of bass, I suppose. Uh, not so thumpy. Mid range come out a bit more still, a bit more mid range again than this one, uh, and then this speaker here, the mid range was definitely more forward on that than it. This is more laid back mid range on there. Uh, not, I won't say as bad as the Dittons. I don't, you know, the Dittons work for me. I don't think the Ditton 15s I got there. They're okay, but the, 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 the mid range was too forward on them speakers for me. I think, um, yeah, just not my. You know, everyone's got a different taste in music and sounds, and it's not really for me. And to the fact I said I was going to keep them, I've actually stuck them up for sale now because I haven't got the room, and um, I want to try and get some other speakers instead and swap things about a bit. Uh, I will try some other dittons at some stage, like uh, I'm not a loyalty, I'm not doing any loyalty to any brands, whatever comes along, Joe Blogs, anything you like, as long as it sounds good I want to keep it, if I don't think it sounds good or I haven't got the room, I want to get rid of it, I mean not everything I get rid of is rubbish, I, uh, them, them, I didn't really like the ELAC speakers, whatever, I would probably class them as rubbish, but anything else, you know what I mean, I'm going to get rid of it if I don't want it, 
I'll tell you if it's rubbish, and I'm not going to lie to you, even though I'm selling them on eBay, I'm still going to say it's rubbish or whatever I thought, you know, not, not great. But, um, yeah, I've got to swap things about. I'm, I'm doing these videos on YouTube, and I'm building up the systems going on, so a bit of a venture all the way, and hopefully I'll keep the channel going. I'll get a few more subscribers, you know, please click and subscribe, and I'll probably come out with some rubbish here and there, but you may pick up one or two things off of me, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm trying to work my way up, and eventually, maybe in three or four years' time, you go, oh, look at that, he's got a really massive receiver, quite dear pair of speakers, lovely sound, everything. Hopefully, I'll get there one day anyway, see how it goes. Obviously, I could trade all this in and just get one item, but I'm getting the enjoyment going along the way. Moving up the ladder, I'm having a bit of fun as well, like you with me, digging out a few things and doing a, having a muck about and whatever. Right, anyway, going back to all the other receivers, I found this speaker in the mid range was more forward, like I said, but it really, really, come, you know, it kind of shone a bit more than this speaker. It was the, it was the treble, the iron, like, and the, and, the, and the tapping of the brushes on the cymbals. It was so much clearer on here than this speaker here. It was clearer, and I weren't searching for it. It was there. I weren't trying to think, where is it? It was there, like, you know what I mean? Like I so say, the mid-range is a bit forward. It still sounded fine, like uh, singing and that, and vocals and guitar and, and stuff like that sounded fine. I may have been tempted, maybe, on, on a couple of the amplifiers just to turn it down, just a tad if I could. But, um, yeah, all in all, the treble was nice. I like the treble. It was, like, bright. It was, like I say, it was, it was more defined. I weren't looking out for it, it was there. So yeah, on the treble wise, I did like that. So I prefer that speaker. Now, over the two speakers, I suppose, um, depending what kind of like, say if you like the thud, this is a speaker for you. But I think I probably just prefer this speaker over the two now. Uh, not so much to say that's an eight and this is a seven. I won't go that far. It pretty much, I don't know, I'll still call it a seven if I had to rate it. You know, if you had to say, give me a number, Mick, uh, I'll give it a seven and I'll give this one uh, still a seven as well. So yeah, but for 50 quid, you're not going to go far wrong, you could get it cheaper. I wouldn't pay no more for it than that, really. You know, I wouldn't start paying £100 because you're going to get a better pair of speakers for £100, I think. But it's a solid, nice big unit as well. You know, it sounds a little bit louder, even though they're both 89 dB, it does sound a little bit louder, I think, because of that mid range coming forward. It gives the impression that it's a, a little bit louder, maybe. Right, okay, that's it. Like I say, it's just a very quick video on these Delta, 7, uh, Delta 90s. Uh, speakers um, and hopefully I'll come up with some other speakers uh, reviews as well and uh, I'll build my system up as we go along. Okay I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.